Greetings in Jesus' name. Today is April the 30th. It is Proverbs 30 and 12, which says there's a generation that is pure in their own eyes, yet is not washed from their filthiness. And I've written this. They are, we are all guilty of thinking of ourselves more than we are. It is an unfortunate human condition. Nevertheless, we gain proper perspective of ourselves when we compare ourselves to God's word and to Jesus Christ. There we will always be able to find room for improvement. A couple of more scriptures that pertain to this topic is Proverbs uh, 12 and 21 uh the Bible says, every way of man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the heart. Uh, most Everybody thinks that the way they're doing something is right, but God, God looks at your motives. He looks at your heart. Also, there's a complicated one in 2 Corinthians 10. I say complicated because it sounds complicated, yet it's not. But I'll read it for you, and you can decide for yourself. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. It is not smart, ladies and gentlemen, to compare yourself with other mortal human beings. The best thing you can do is compare yourself to Jesus, where you're going to always find room for improvement. Jesus, who came to save and seek that which is lost, he gave himself a ransom for all. If you will do the same thing, you'll find yourself being more like Christ every day. Don't try to compare yourself to the person who isn't quite uh, at the same level as you are, because that's not fair to you or to him. Let God be God in your life. And if you like what you hear, please subscribe and, and share. I love to hear from you if you have a comment. Thank you. And may God bless you today. In Jesus' name.